Hey, what's up everyone? It's your friend 23 here, and welcome back to a new episode of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Last episode, we did the fire temple, so now we have the... Where it is? Here. The Sage of Fire emblem or token, but we're gonna dismiss those, because I don't want them always out when I'm fighting. And I think Ludo here has a new quest line for us, so, so let's just talk here and see what they say. I remembered something about that other Zelda. When we were mining marbled rock roast on the north side of the Death Mountain, she said something kind of funny. She told me not to go near the Lizard Lake, but she didn't say why. Bit surprised to hear the word Lizard Lake coming out of your craw. Don't much hear about them lakes these days. I still recall an old nursery rhyme about them. One brother hunts what the other brother hides. Two lizards fighting over what's inside. Not everyone know this, but the lizard lakes are also called the lizard brothers. I search high and low for them back in my younger years. Always thought treasures must be there somewhere. Then on my hunt, Death Mountain blew its top. It was covered in lava before you could say boom. Boy, I forget all about my search for the lakes. That's it. Talking about this has made uh, has me all worked up. It's been a real long time, but I'm ready to start the hunt again. Best place to start looking is halfway up Death Mountain. My hunch way back when led me to the north side. There's another Unobo corporate dig site there too, so we can hope in a minecart and get cracking. Gah! My aching back. Yeah, I, I feel for your back, dude. So we have a side quest now. The hidden treasure at the Lizard Lakes. So the Lizard Lakes I showed you la two episodes ago on the loading screen I saw them. It's these two. Uh, so one of them is hiding and one of them is searching. Was that what he said? I don't know. Let's check the... One brother's hunts where the other brother hides. Two lizards fighting over what's inside. So it looks like... Maybe this one hides because it's in the mountain and this one is... Um, uh, this one is uh, hunting. And I have a strong hunch that this is the lost forest. If I remember correctly. And I would really start going there as well, so we can get the Master Sword soon. <sighs> so what to do this episode, huh? I, I have a lot of things to do, I just have to decide. Because either we could keep on exploring this northern part, but now we've been here for some episode. Maybe we should go back to Hateno village and complete the quests down here. I think that would be a fun thing to do this episode. So let me just quick travel, and then we're gonna, in a future episode, revisit Boro City. So the first quest I'm thinking of doing here is that uh, quest where we was uh, supposed to follow the, the CC lady. Her sister asked us to follow her during the night. So let's just talk to her again and see what she says. Oh, I haven't seen you in a while. It's been some time since I troubled you to follow my sister to wherever she sneaks off at night. I was beginning to think you only pretended to accept my request as a cruel joke. I tried following her several times myself, you know, but she's incredibly alert and spotted me immediately. Since I can't do it myself, and since the mayoral election is so close, I really need your help with this. I will help you with this. So let me just find an inn, so I can sleep. There is the inn. Something we need to do is also cook food soon. But that's something I will try to do in between episodes. As, as usual. Hello, dude. Or do that. I had no idea Wurton could be so stubborn. He would always humor me before we got married, no matter what I asked. Uh, would it be so hard for him to wear a simple CC brand hat? I don't understand why he's this dead set against it. Because it's goddamn ugly, that's why. 
and everybody wear, wears it, which, so it's a bit... It's not the coolest brand to have on, I would say. <laughs> oh, can I help you? Oops, I really can't be dwelling on that right now. Not while I'm on the clock. Oh. It must be good to get out from the rain. Hi. Welcome to Ton Pu Inn. Will you be staying with us tonight? Oh. Yes, yes, we will. We will. A regular bed or an extra soft? Yeah, I can take a soft bed. And night is the time we're gonna wake up. You heard that last little melody? That was because the bed was extra soft. How was that downy soft bed? Did they say downy soft bed? Okay, that sounded a bit weird. Did you get that deep sleep, deeper sleep than usual? It's still dark outside, so mind your step. Yes, yes, yes. So now it's night time. I guess we're gonna see, see, see here soon. I guess just take your apples over here. At least try to. And also it can be good... Uh, uh, ...to track that also. Sneaks out of her house somewhere every night. Sophie has asked you to tail CC. And how long do I need to wait for this? Like, I don't wanna go in here. There she is. <laughs> Do I need to talk to her? Oh, here you are. I'm so sorry to ask you to follow my sisters. I know how shady it sounds. It's right over there, so I have to keep this quiet. But she's incredibly, incredibly alert when walking. Be, sh be sure you don't enter her line of sight. That makes sense. So, should I... Should I just wait? <laughs> yeah, she's leaving now. Oh, and he has a quest for me as well. I both wanna... No one must suspect. We don't suspect a thing. You're just out on a nightly walk here. Let's just take this quest first. Uh, love's fire burns forever. What's the matter? You can tell me, weirdly handsome dude. Uh, you look like you've been... been You've been places. Sure things are peaceful in the old village. But it's a jungle out there in the world. That's why I stick around here, checking out the scenes, making sure no strangers put the moves on Miss Ivy. Wait, I mean, that's why I make sure no strange come in from the outside and disturb the peace. Ivy? You forgot the miss. I always add the miss. Miss Ivy is the poster, poster girl for the East Wind General Store. There's no problem if you wanna talk to Miss Ivy. I just keep the naive, I just moved here and want somebody to show me around, act to a minimum. Not that anyone could be as young, guyish, or fashion-esque as me. By the way, Quick question for you, big guy. What kind of present do you think would make Miss Eve at the East Wind happy? I'm not asking for me, you understand. A friend of a friend wanted advice, and I'm having a tough time with the answer. Obviously, I, can just, I can't just go and ask her directly. Let me know if you think of something. I will uh, help you hook up with that girl if that's what you want. Careful, careful. Where you're off to? This is the weirdest walking path. 
She just went across the... to the neighbor. And I needed to sneak for that. Building condemned. Do not enter. Alone at last. Okay. Am I not supposed to be able to enter now? I think it's Blood Moon time as well. The music is a bit sus. Can I enter? I can enter here. Perfect. I do believe nobody saw me. I'm free to enjoy another of my late night meals in secret. Ma! Ah, how I enjoy my nightly vegetables. The shine, the luster, the fragr fragrance. Yes, indeed. Now this is luxury dining. <laughs> and so, without further ado, let's tuck in. Crunch, munch and crunch. Ma! Sigh, so scrumptious. The crisp smooth taste is a sign they were grown on on a diet of pure water thanks to the farmer's deft touch and the quality of the soil i can even eat the skin without misgivings honestly vegetables from anywhere but hateno village simply don't count they're nowhere near as filling though i built a reputation on flash and glamour here in private i must here in private i must admit that the simple unadored things are the best there's simply no denying it, alas. But now that I'm full for tonight, it's best that I return home. If I don't return quickly, Sophie may start to su suspect something. You wanna change the town when in secret you don't want the town to change? Doesn't smart sound like the smartest thing to do? <laughs> did you learn anything? I did. Sorry about this. I know it's a tall order, asking you to tail my sister, but I'm just so nervous about her. Eh? Really? The silo across the way? <sighs> what? I thought she's been hiding something big. Is that really all there was to it? I know my sister says a lot about charisma and style, and has to do everything in the most ostentatious way possible. But between you and me, her tastes are pretty plain. She loves the slow life here in Hateno village. She probably told you she came back here because of development or something. Uh, but the truth is, she wanted to eat the vegetables grown here in her hometown, hometown again. At least, I'm pretty sure that's the case. Either way, I'm glad she wasn't up to anything scandalous. I want you to have this ex... I want you to have this in exchange for helping me out. Thank you. My sister really is a handful sometimes. Both she and Reed want the same thing, you know. I can't understand why the two of them don't just work together instead of going to such bizarre length. I'm gonna... Is the... Vote gonna complete with them both taking over the town? That questline thing. Uh, okay, so we're done with that little quest here. So we have another, Team CC or Team Reedy, and we have the... I guess that's a side quest. Her men is beloved. So we're gonna talk to Eva, I guess. Can you muster courage to ask Eve what she likes the most? Yeah, yeah. And Eve, I guess, is over here. Is that Eve? Sigh. Another long day drawing in customers. I hope Manny, Manny doesn't show up today. That guy is always glaring at me. I don't even know why. He's in love with you, dude. Hmm, do you need something? I haven't started my spiel yet. What do you like? Huh? What do I like? Where did that come from? Mm hmm. Maybe frogs. Sure, why not? I like frogs. If I had 100 hot-footed frogs, I would be incredibly happy. Oops, I couldn't think of anything, so I just told him what my dad likes instead. Manny? I got some juicy information for you. Oh. I'm not trying to be rude, buddy, but... What were you doing with Miss Eve from the general store? Sure, I noticed. I've been checking her out for a long... 
A long time. I mean, a friend of a friend tipped me off. Yeah, yeah, of course. You went and asked what Miss Eve likes right to her face? What's the idea? Uh, gotta play it smooth. Can't let him... Can't let him guess I'm the one dying to know. Alright then. So what is it? What does Miss Eve want? I can't leave my friends hanging. My friend's friend hanging. She wanted hot-footed frogs? And hundreds of them at that? Yeah, that checks out. Miss Eve's love for animal is just one of the many charming things about her. Or so my friend is always saying. That was a close one. I better play it smooth. Still, collecting hundred hot-footed frogs seems like a big job. Even for someone you love. Ah. But not if I had help. You traveler type go into wells and caves all the time, right? That's just the kind of place where you find frogs. You don't even have to go far. Didn't I hear about a bunch of frogs in a well somewhere in this village? Maybe I should check it out later. Uh, what? I didn't say anything. Uh, look, let's focus on how helpful it would be if you gather 10 of these frogs. There's, there'd be a reward in it for you. Won't you do it for my friend's friend's sake? Sure, we can do that. And also we should talk to this dude because we have snapped a photo on those... Um, he wanted a photo on... I will show you here. On a monster called... Is it a chuchu? What are they called? These ones. The chuchu. Exactly. Hey. Did you bring me some reference materials for a chuchu pattern? In sure I did. Indeed I did. Oh. So that's a chuchu. <laughs> I can feel the inspiration bleeding into reality. I'll start developing this pattern at once. <laughs> All done. And with your help, I made a pretty pretty pattern. You can have a have the fabric that I worked up as a thanks. A choo-choo fabric. That's nice. I knew I'd get a different result with some quality reference. I bet you I could make other patterns too. In fact, I made a list of patterns I like to die out. When you got your hands on anything I might use as a reference, come on in and show it to me. Nice. If I have this uh, the reference, I can make out an original pattern for you to walk out the door with. <laughs> Looking forward to seeing what you can do together. So where can I see that... That quest line? Do we start a new quest? No? So do I need to... Where is this list? Uh, if I rework the paraglider... I have a new reference. Ooh, that's an Arakuda, all right. It's picture perfect. Way to get my creative juice flowing again. I'll start developing this pattern at once. All done. Perfect enough to give me the goosebumps, that's for sure. You can have the fabric I worked on, so thanks. Hey. I knew I get a different re result with some quality reference. I bet you I, I bet you I could make other patterns too. I have a new reference. Let's see how long we can keep doing this. Oh, that's an Eldin ostrich, all right. <laughs> but yeah, look at this. Uh, now that what I call inspiring, I'll start developing this pattern at once. <laughs> All done. With your help, here you go. Thank you. Anything else? <laughs> Even more, huh? Okay, I don't have more reference. <laughs> so now we wanna rework the paraglider. Because I wanna see if the list is here. Uh, rework it. <laughs> yeah, here we have Gliok, Lionel, Stalnox, Horse. Don't I have photos on Horse? I thought I had. No. Oh. Should we should check out the new, the new fabrics as well. The CC I don't like. That one is okay. That one is pretty goofy. Let's use it. I 
think I never seen the full uh, animation for this. Looking forward to your next visit. Now go on, go out and paint the town red. Nice. I like that design. And also let's, while we're still here, let's recolor some of my clothes. Dye these clothes. And then... This dye. And we wanna change clothes. Change clothes. I want to equip this. And also that one. I know I said my plan is to take... Ooh, that's so nice. To have everything in, at white. Everything at purple would be nice also. Let's do the all white thing. And this we can skip. Nice. And change back to this. That's actually a pretty cool outfit. Okay, so he wants 10 hot, hot, hot footed frogs, which can be found in wells and caves. One such well in the village is home to many frogs. So let's find the well here then. There is one well. Yeah, here we have frogs. really sure what I want here. Maybe aimbot. Oh, they... I got them both. Oh my god. So I destroyed them now, huh? That was a bit unfortunate. <laughs> wow, my aim is off. Bring out the dude. Oh, he's already out. Maybe we're still in the town, so that's why we can't use him. A lot of frogs. Freaking hell. <laughs> Why is it going straight up? I will miss that. I had a chance on five frogs, I have gotten one. That's a bit awkward.
Here I saw at least one frog. Oh my god. I think I need my sneak clothes. That would make everything more easy again. They're like waiting for me. That's a nice lot of ice. Jump up here. Grab this. Yep. And no, thank you. Don't need. Pretty deep cave, actually. Frog, 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 frog. I'm too slow, as always. No, I'm not. I'm not. I take them. I hear one more. Here I... I saw frogs as well. Wanna one-hand it. Gimme, 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 gimme. Thank you. Oh my god, that's a lot of frogs. No, don't, 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 don't. No, I missed them all again. Ooh, boulders. This we want to attach. <gasps> froggy, 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 give me, give me, give me. No, I'm so slow always. <laughs> On my reaction. It's this as well. Okay, let's backtrack. How many hot footed frogs do we have? Nine. So we want, need one more. Nice sapphire. Like or deposits. Wake up. Not that's just water, though. I wanted this. Boom. And then something with a lot of damage. <laughs> 
More sneaky sneak strikes. Why not? That one would be nice with uh, comboing these ones. Or that samurai sword feel. Nice. Please just give me one more frog as well. That's a nice pick. Frog, 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 Got him. Oh my god. Nothing really of value on the walls. And here I've been, right? This last giant one as well. Boom. Now we can ascend. I'm saying I must be ascending up a mountain. And I almost was. Okay. So where are you, dude? You're just standing there the whole day and... Spying on her. I got your frogs. Hey, buddy. Do I hear the faint croaks of little frogs? Especially ten hot-footed fo frogs in that pouch of yours? Mm. Indeed you do. You already caught all the hot-footed hot frogs. That's some quick work. And here I am, not having caught even one. Okay, so you, you got the frogs, then let's see them. One, two, three... <laughs> ah, ten frogs, all accounted for. Allow me to take those off your hands. And as promised, here's your reward. That's a good reward, actually. I like the rush rooms. Uh, nice. Uh, guess it's up to me to collect the rest, huh? Uh, how I've been dreaming of a date with my beloved Missy. <laughs> That's why I, Manny, will check every well in sight. Uh, oh, no. No coming back from that one. You can stand there, keep on spying. CC all the way. There goes the village. I've been putting these strange decorations. They've been putting these strange decorations all over the village. I'm oh, sorry about that. Are you a visitor here? A tourist? You're in Hateno, a village known for living off the land. For as long as anyone can remember, we till the soil and let the n nature be our guide in life. Oh. Now, though, everything is getting so glitzy and some folks try to drum up more tourism business. Mind you, we were all happy to see return to the village after she's been away for so long. Some folks, like my daughter Prima, started wearing the flashy CC brands stuff right away in celebration. But it's a tad over the top for me and my son-in-law, Borten. We prefer the simple life, the way we always lived it. But I don't mean to talk your ear off. By all means, go on and have yourself a peaceful stay here. Hmm, is there something you need from me, Mr. Traveler? I guess I need to give these mushrooms out to advance the quest. Huh? You say this is from CC? Thank you kindly. Us old folks don't know much about what's in now, you know? I'm happy to vote for whoever... I'm happy to vote for whoever for mayor if they fix up the village real nice. Hmm. 
This dude is wearing the clothes, so he's probably not gonna need, need um, the hat. Uh, hello there, always happy to see a traveling in Hatena village. Are you one of those who came to see the new CC fashion line? Not to brag, but the mind behind it, behind it is my own daughter CC. Oh, you're the dad to her. If you're looking for her, you'll probably find her at the clothing shop. I mean, boutique. It's over by the village entrance. Not sure what the difference is, personally, but CC always gets upset when I call it a clothing shop. Yeah, because she's... snobby like that, huh? Oh, here's a praying station. <laughs> I have searched for this for quite some time. I guess we're gonna go full stamina here. We have six, so we can only do one upgrade, huh? Nice, nice. Only five more of those, four more of those. Maybe we have a full full wheel. He doesn't wear the clothes, so probably he needs a mushroom. I really need to do this. Hello. Hey there, brother. Uh, this is Wharton. Yeah, I am. Oh, if you don't know me, I'm a worker at the inn. Whoever is at the counter right now can help you if you need something. It's probably my wife, Prima, you'll be dealing with. Every time I show my face around there, she demands to know why I'm not wearing CC brand clothes. So I'm keeping my distance until the fad die down. I never knew my dear Prima was the type to get so worked up about fashion. You need something else? Something not related to the inn? Here, take a shroom. Ooh. Oh, for me? Thanks. My wife loves CC stuff, so I'll save it as a treat for her. I'm not into the design myself, but she's pretty pleased with them. <laughs> and she does look incredible cute when she's wearing them too. Yeah, that CC is alright in my book. And I'm not the only one. Koying from the farm on the hill said the same thing. Okay, so farm on the hill. Let's open the map. That's probably the farm. <laughs> if I could guess. What up? What up? You must find it. What do you must find? Uh, we have already talked to you. We meet again. How you been? Weren't anything good lately? The moment I met CC at Athena Village, I was reborn as a fashionista. Uh, that's why I must find the whatever clothing Misko hid in the cave that runs through Walnut Mountain. So I'll head to Athena Village and set out from there. A bright future awaits me. I know it. I just have to go out and grab it by the fridge. I know it was a mountain here. Is this hot walnut mountain yet? Yeah, so we have already found those clothes. Here is the farm. Hmm. Well, you're a new face around here. If I'm any judge, if I'm any judge. Welcome to Athena pa Pasture. Love to get some sun. Don't my cows look happy to be out sun bath bathing? I guess they do. Uh, you got something for me? Have a helium shroom here. Ooh. Is this from CC? Isn't that sweet? These are tasty if you fry them up as a snack. Ooh. Don't get me wrong, I appreciate the gift. Mm. But me and my daughter, Koyin, and old man Took don't care much about the clothes. Uh, what use is fashion in the field, right? Still, I'm glad that's all you came from. For if you told me you were here to pick up some fresh milk, I have been in a tight spot to make no mistake. Fresh milk? Don't tell me you haven't heard of my farm's fresh milk. It's the best in Ateno. 
The secret in the special feed, in the special feed I make for my cows, it gives their milk an extra little something you don't get anywhere else. Except I've been having trouble getting my hands on acorns to mix up any more of it. There used to be tons of acorns all over the ground in the forest out back. No idea where they all went. Probably the squirrels start started taking them over and grabbing them all. Started taking them over and start grabbing them all for themselves. Those damn squirrels, huh? Sometimes they'll drop uh, the acorns they carry in their cheeks if you startle them. But they're quick little critters. I need at least three acorns to make my special feed. So it's a real problem for me. My daughter, Koyen, is always out uh, staring into the pond, so I doubt she has any help gathering acorns, but I probably have some. Here you are. No fooling. Well, I'm not gonna look a gift... I'm not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth. Uh, I'm not sure what that means. Uh, not with me at my wit's end at all. I don't know if this rightly makes up for it, but have a bottle on me. Thank you, thank you. I was keeping uh, it squirreled away, but no reason to be a miser about it now. I better go mix up a batch of feed right away, now that I got some more acorns. <laughs> if you ever want more fresh milk, I'll swap you some for three acorns. Call it a special trade, just for you. That's good to know. And this is probably the daughter. How do I fix this? Do I dive into the pond? Uh, there's no way. That's too deep to swim, huh? What's with the blank stare? Oh, you must be a customer. Uh, what's that you got there? Have a highland shroom. Ah. Hmm, from CC, huh? Ah. But I can see you mean well enough with the gift, so I'm happy to accept. Thanks. Sorry, but if you're here on farm business, you'll have to talk to my dad at the farm. I need to get my hands on that message bottle floating in the pond quickly. Mm. I finally found the letter my great-grandpa left, but... I can't reach it. My arms are too short. Pond too deep to swim. And anyways, I don't know how to. But that letter has the advice I need to get this farm back on its feet. If I don't get my hands on it, we're sunk. Where's the bottle? It's over there. So I guess if I startle this little dude, or even if I... If I shoot him... Will he drop the acorns then? Welcome, dude. Welcome and goodbye. I need to build some type of boat thing. Let's see what we have in our history. We should have one uh, recipe for this, actually. This. <laughs> the boat boat. Quite expensive, but that will do. Oh, let's just try, try this also. <laughs> Oh my god, that's great. Let me just get the food. Oh. <laughs> it uh, killed the fishes also. One bottle coming up. Be a bit careful here. No need to be scared. This thing is totally safe. There you go. 
Senyoi. New specialty. With mayor cheese fermentation. Can't name too early. I told you, whatever you're after, I'm too busy to... Uh... Huh? That's my great-grandpa's message bottle. How did you... I got my tricks up my sleeve, huh? Uh, did you fish it out for me? Thanks. There should be a letter in this bottle with advice for getting our farm back in its feet. Let's see here. Hmm, <clears throat> yep. There we go. Gosh, do I miss great-grandpa's handwriting. His penmanship was so messy that no one but him and his family could read it. Oh, I thought... I hadn't thought of that. New specialty with mayor cheese fermentation? Can't name too early. Ah. Yeah, this could work. Sorry to run, but I want to put great grandpa's advice into practice right away. If you need me, I'll be back at the house. Hey, It's right over there, by the way. Come by a bit later so I can thank you for the help. If I play my cards right, I can start making a new signature product. It'd be good not just for our farm, but for the whole village. I'm itching to get started. Letter to coin updated. And how many mushrooms do we still give? need to give up? Three. I knew it work. Ah. ah, good. You showed up. Take a look at this. Gonna make some cheese. <laughs> I call it Hateno cheese. That message my grand great grandpa left behind had a recipe. It's a springy on it's springy on the outside but melty on the inside and so delicious. You'll think you're dreaming. But back to the reason I called you here, it's... Well, you know, I couldn't have made this without you, so I... I wanted to be the first... I wanted you to be the first to have some. Anyway, consider this my thanks. You don't need to be so mad. Go on, take it already. Thank yeah. you for the cheese. As I understand it, Great Grandpa worked with the mayor back then on this Hateno cheese to put our village on the map. But it was ahead of its time. The villager reacted it. Having eaten this... I think they were nuts. Now it's the time for Ateno cheese to make a splash in the culinary world. I'm sick of fashion getting all the attention lately. It's really eating into our business. But if anything will bring the customers in, it's this. I'd say it's time to do some renovation around here. Maybe here is good. No, I like it better this way. Yeah, that will work. Ta-da! The Hateno cheese shop is complete. What do you think? The next step is to get those folk over at the general store to start stocking it. That reminds me. You won't get this offer anywhere else, but around here, I'll give you some for fresh milk instead of rupees. Ah. I'll make the dream my I'll make the dream my grand great grandpa gave up on come true, and this farm will be bu busier than ever in the in the bargain. <laughs> So you'll come visit me again, right? Yeah, I will. Nice. Another quest completed. We have three more dudes to give that uh, mushroom to. Guess maybe somewhere here. Because we gave to Tok up at the uh, ancient tech lab. without permission here we have a quest oh, this is the mayor's uh, place oh you're the traveler I saw at the Ventes clothing right 
Did you come to check up on me because you were worried? Uh. Yeah, I lost my head a little there. I'm not too proud of the way I behaved. But don't you worry about me. I have a couple tricks up my sleeve against CC. I might not be able to pull one of them in time for the mayoral election. So I'm focusing on the second plan. To bring back a taste no one, no one's tried here in years. What kind of taste? Way back when my grandfather worked with someone from the village to create a special kind of food. Probably the shishis. It was too ahead of its time to catch on. So it never went further than the first trial run. But I never forget it. Even today, I can f still recall the gooey mouthfeel of the one bite my grandfather shared with me. In the back of my mind, I always wanted to make it a signature, signature staple of this village. <laughs> if I could accomplish that, then I have something that could stand up to CC. Except, I can't remember who in the village my grandfather worked with, or what they created. And now that I think about it, uh, it also had a unique pungent scent. If I could just smell that aroma again, it might jog my memory. Yes, that's the aroma I remember. Huh? Wait just a moment. Have some cheese. <laughs> this is it. This is just what I've been looking for. My grandfather developed it with a fellow villager. No! Hateno cheese, of course. It makes sense that my grandfather would have been working with someone from the farm up there. It's a miracle that Koyin not only found the recipe, but managed to reproduce it. <laughs> but this is great news. It's a clear sign that we ought to make Hateno cheese a new village staple. That ought to swing the election for me. Let me pay you for that cheese, okay? Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Believe me, it's worth every rupee. Now then, I should get in touch with Koyin so we can start preparing for mass production. I'll ask the Ateno Village General Store and some traveling merchants to add it to their wares too. <laughs> Shouldn't take much more than that to tip the election my way. You should have come out. You should come out and watch it happen. Of course. Started that quest, quest and completed it the same second. That's nice. Do you also have a quest for me? Oh, you're the customer I saw at Ventes Clothing, aren't you? You know, from when they were talking about whether to go through with the mayor mayoral election or not, it becomes something of a hassle. They're both so stubborn. I wish uh, they clear the air between them and end this silly quarrel once and for all. But that's a moot point now. I have something else on my mind. I have to take care of this before the mayoral election starts. What's on your mind? Ah. Oh, you don't mind lending me an ear? I won't mince words. It's about my husband, Reedy. The man of mine. He shuts himself up in our shed every night. I don't have the faintest what he's up to. Okay, so the, the mayor will probably use the clothes. They both have a secret that they like the other way of living in secrets. And then they will probably rule this town together or something. Uh. Uh, when I ask, he just say it's a secret and I can't get another peep out of him. I hate the idea of snooping on him. Plus, I think he's catch me at night right away and either way. But I get so worried when I think about whether... Whether whatever he's doing will affect the chances in the election. Mm. I was fit to burst in... Burst if I could find someone to talk about this. Good thing you came along. I'd like you to enter our shed at midday when my husband isn't around and see if you can figure out what he's doing. I'll pay for your troubles, of course. Mm. The only problem I can see is that he's keep he keeps the place locked up tight. You never fit in through a window, uh, but maybe you could dig a hole or something. Well, you figure it out. Okay, so we're gonna use a stand to get there. And during the midday. So first of all, here is the shed. Let's just... I press every button wrong. I want to open this. Edit this, yes, with a star. So now, somehow we should be able to get there, I guess, through this. And the star is this way. So 
So here we can ascend. But midday, she told me. So I need to, to start a fire here and just wait for midday. Now we got the blood moon. The blood moon shine. Perfect. Notes toward a new var variety of pumpkin read. I firmly believe that Hateno village charm is in the delicious vegetable and milk from our farms. But there's no denying that these things just aren't resonating with the youth nowadays. And I got no business being mayor if I can't fix that. So I got together with Knack, the best farmer in these parts, and we came up with a new type of pumpkin. The color, shape and appearance are, are, are based on the CC brand aesthetic, which is popular with the young folks. We hit a snag together. It might be a bit before we can achieve our goal of shipping the pumpkins out. Can we open it here now? Uh, and also just take that away. Where is the wife? She's out doing stuff. Yeah. The hell? Why is she so far away? There you are. Ah. How goes it? Made any progress on that thing we talked about? Ma. You say he's developing a new type of pumpkin? That's why he's been consulting with Nack so often. He could have just asked Cece about it directly, but I know he's too hardworking and stubborn for ah. that. It's a release, relief to find out the truth. A lot of things make sense now. Like why he went to event test closing, it's so obvious in hindsight. Ah, so I'm sorry, that's between me and my husband. Thank you for looking into this for me. I promise you a reward, and I keep my promises. Ten tomatoes. Mm. What a pair the two of them would make if they would just get along. I feel like the quest will start end with them both being mayors together. But now we really need to find the last, was it three people that wanted the... Um, wanted shrooms? Yeah, there's still three left. And those three we will have to find in the next episode. Because now we have run out of time. If you have enjoyed this episode, please consider liking this video. It helps me a lot. Also subscribe if you haven't already, so you don't miss out on future episodes. This has been 23. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.